Welcome back to part 2 of my PS2 collection. This part will not take that long, so, because I only have 18 games left to show. Um, so we'll just get started. I'm not timing this video, so if it's only like 8 minutes, I'm sorry. But, we'll just get started. Cutting two games, I'm just going to do off right at the back as a series. So it's Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 3, Solid, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Sons of Liberty was a... Uh, great big surprise of a sequel because when uh, they show most of the first level only on the back of you playing a snake they completely got rid of the whole Raiden thing like this has nothing with Raiden on it literally I don't see anything all I see is snake and then it takes a turn and you play as Raiden and then you meet snake in the story and they try to hush hush you're like oh we don't know who this guy is <laughs> we don't know what this guy is it's really funny Everyone's like, oh, it's Snake. It's Snake. Um, but yeah, very good sequel. Very surprising story, though. And of course, Snake Snake Eater was a kind of prequel going back to, you know, Big Boss's origin. And it, very good. I think it's one of my favorites in the series. Maybe my favorite. I think I said 4 was my favorite. And I just keep that 4 is my favorite. 3 would have to be my second favorite. Uh, next game. Very fun racing game. I'm really not a fan of racing games, but this one's very fun. Midnight Club, uh, Street Racing, very fun. The graphics really don't hold up to date. I admit I played it recently with a couple friends. They're not that great in my opinion, but it's still very fun. We just screw around, drive around, and we're crashing into everything. Next game is called Minority Report. Everybody runs. Very fun. Very cool. Um... Again, it takes place in 2054. It's based off of a Steven Spielberg movie. It's featured in the thriller explodes onto Pete. Like, it's based off a movie, but I've never seen the movie. From the creators of the Spider Man video game. Oh, so. Treyarch made this? Yeah, Treyarch made this. Wow, I did not know that. I've gotta replay this, actually. I wonder how good it is, because I like Treyarch's games. That's something new. I learned something. You learn something new every day. Next game, I got as a kid too, and I remember it being so much fun, but really hard to. I used to get mad at it. Uh, Pac-Man World 2, the Ghost Strike, the Ghost Gang Strikes again. Like I like how Pac-Man turned from this simple game, and then they turned making a sequel on M on SNES, and then they kind of went. to... I don't know what they did after that, but this is very fun. It is very difficult, though, but it's very fun. It is a 3D. Platformer. It's very cool. Next game is a movie license game, which I think is not that bad either. Like I said before, um, and it's by Bethesda. Weird. Um, like I said before, in part one, video game movies. Jeez, I did not lock my door. I thought my door was locked. Is the baby sleeping? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's keep that in the video. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Legend of Jack Sparrow. I thought I locked my door. But I didn't. Okay, who cares? Um, let's keep that in the video. Blooper! Um, again, like I said, um, well, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Movie license games back here were not that bad. Again, with this, very fun co op, very fun. Uh, again, night and night again. God, I'm just, my mind is just going like this now. My mom interrupted. Um, this threw me off a loop. <laughs> Mom walked in. <laughs> it's Repel's Pro Fishing. Very good fishing game. The graphics doesn't look, it looks, it doesn't look that great, but I would love to play like a reason. I wish they'd make more fishing games because I'd have fun. I like fishing in real life, so I gotta have fun. Very fun fishing game. Uh, another game, which actually shows the actual actor a lot in live action on the case. Jet Li in... Rise of Honor, very fun game. I remember it being very fun as a kid. I played all the time. Uh, next game, I have no idea what this is. I just have it. It's called Robotech Invasion. I have no idea what it is. It's a first-person shooter. That's all I know. WWE Smackdown, shut your mouth. Yeah. I like wrestling games, so this is very fun, too. I love to get the recent one. I love wrestling games. I like wrestling. I mean, I know, I know it's fake. Don't give me... Don't, don't spam me. It's fake. It's fake. Yes, I know. But I like to watch it. I like watching people beat themselves so fakely. I mean, it's like watching a movie. Who cares? Um, here, let me think. Right here. Three games. So SOCOM, US Navy SEALs. 
Soul Calm 2, Soul Calm 3. I've only played the first one, and it's very good. I've only tried these out to make sure they worked, but they're very fun, obviously. Can't go into depth with that. And I'm going to repeat again, movie license games based even on okay movies have great games. Star Wars Episode 3, very fun movie license game. If you have not played it, play it. What they show on the back a lot is these dueling sections. So the game, if you play the story, follows the movie pretty well, like I said before in the first one, but what they have to do is they add a lot more Jedi when you're killing them in the one scene. But or a lot more enemies and a lot more sections in the actual movie. But besides that, I love this cover art. Look at that. Um, there is, it's usually a, it can be hack and slash, just killing everything in sight. And then it goes like these one-on-one -on -one duels. They're very cool. The next game, man, as a kid, Stitch, Experiment 226. Two, six. Um, a prequel to this Disney's feature film, Lilo and Stitch. It's a prequel. Stitch goes around the galaxy, just destroying everything. It's very fun. Last three games. First one is Tech 2, The Staff of Dreams. Tech games are so funny. They're so silly. They're so cool. Uh, this one's very fun, too. It's very, it's a platformer action game. It's very cool. This is a very cool fighter fighting game, too, and that's Tom and Jerry, War of the Whiskers. Very cool. Very fun. It's basically a lot of Tom and Jerry characters just whack the shit out of each other. And the last game, uh, I'll repeat myself again. Good movie. I really like this movie. And good game. I love this game. Van Helsing. But somehow it like, got beat the frick up. Um, include bonus Van Helsing will be tickets inside. Like, I don't know. This guy's so screwed at all. Oh, there's cartridge holders in case you take the game on the go. Play somewhere else. Um, Evil only has one name to fear. Very cool movie. I like the movie. The game is very fun too. And I'm just having trouble with that. Hugh Jackman on the front of it. I'm having trouble. See, that's a very fun game. I like it a lot. It is very fun. A lot of the images on the back are the boss battles. That's weird. Like, that's the final boss battle. Okay. Very fun uh, action shooter thing. Slasher. Because you have, like, the little spinny things, too. So that is my PS2 collection part 2. Um, yeah, if you guys want to say if I'm missing any, if I'm missing any titles, you know, I should get. I don't know about any underrated games I don't have. I should get. But I think I'm going to finish off my discs. Because after I did everything with discs. No, actually, I have not. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to finish off my discs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, my movies. I'm going to do my movies and TV shows. And then I'm going to go on to Nintendo discs. And then go on the cartridges. All right? I just want to do my movies just to not kind of get over them. So it's going to be movies, which are Blu-ray and DVD mixed together, and then TV show. Same thing, Blu-ray, DVD, if I have it on Blu-ray. And that will be my plan from the next couple of videos. So if you like what you saw, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just, I'll oh, see you in the next video.